Hey, I know, just to get back to, you know, me. You know Varka? Yes. Well, no, they don't, but yes, they do. Varka's like the spirit of, you know, nature. I met her in Magic Woods. It's long. But now there's, you know, these little Vs turning up everywhere. I noticed this before. They often go floating in the pond. It's another scrying thing. It's there. Like, I know it's an old carpet that's, you know, exploded. Because you know why? Nature. But it's left all these Vs. Varka. Varka's red and white. You know why? She is. <coughs> that's what? Because the feminine energy is red, isn't it? And that's more spiel. But uh, the active energy, the... So the male is the blue, the conscious energy, and the female is the active energy. Um, so maybe it is Varka. It is Varka. All of this is Varka. Every damn bit of it. You know what? She was my spirit guide. I met her in that, um, at that translation meeting. <laughs> no, you know what? That YouTube. I met her on YouTube, Varka, doing a... You know what? You know what? I've talked about this before. But not in this voice. <laughs> I was doing a... Um, what was I doing? I was doing a YouTube wormhole, babe. I was doing a guided meditation on YouTube to meet spirit guides. Google it. You know, Google wormholes are so good. You know, YouTube wormholes. You never know what you're going to find. Anyway, I found this guided meditation to meet spirit guides and did it. And um, it was all... Ask, very astral. I've talked about it in great depth to other people. Um, well, you know, as deep as it needs to be. And um, then in the end, I met through the tree, do you know, through the door, blah, blah, downstairs, blah, blah, my spirit guide. It might not be who it's supposed to be. And it was the woman, like, um, sitting like goddess basically with her red hair sitting in a garden i didn't finish the guided meditation so i may have gone on further you know it's like watching a film but that's the point i finished it um so i'm now calling her varka i think that's not who it was to start with but this she is my spirit guide the goddess um I just want to tell you about these Vs. I'll show you again, look, because they're everywhere. I know they're carpets, but this is how... You know what? There's a piece of black string as well. What's that for? I don't know. Safety, isn't it? Black's for protection. Um, I could put it with my red, maybe. I don't know. There's one from Varka. And a white one, too. Loads of white. White and black. White and black, white and black. Uh, I know. So Camden, I carpet the garden. It's true. Or Chelsea or whatever. <sighs> and that's the end of the story. I just want what else is growing in the garden apart from the sunflowers that I'm hanging from Mark. He's I called him obsidian. You know why? I like to poke him. I like to poke him in the ribs. You know why? Because I'm that sort of bitch. It's true. Uh, what else is growing in the garden today? Mm, I don't know. That college seems to have died. I hope it comes back. Um, Amy helps me out of the garden. She likes the dead things. <laughs> I, I always have to find a way around everything. Amy, that looks so nice when they die, babe. I just imagine her not being able to keep the plant alive. I always like them, but just making it into a thing. Because I'm that sort of bit. I have, like, dry flowers in the house that start off as, you know, bouquets, and they just stay here until, you know what? I don't know. Until they have to go. So, I don't know. I want this garden to be full of life, though. But at the same time, it's funny to have these little reminders of people. Just to know the spirits are still around. <sighs> She's trying to kill my fucking gut socks already. She thinks they belong to her. 
They don't. Tell her. Tell her to get off them. I want them to be cascading, you know, factual piece of evidence that I... I know. Oh, water in there. I've got to finish more. <laughs> what do you mean it's her place now? She will totally go to fuck. <laughs> she's, got, she's got one last... What? One last fuck trash to her to do, babe. I want to go. Go and do it, bitch. I want to go. Do it. It'll be fun. I'm coming back though. No. Oh my god, it'll be nice. Farkas choice. Oh, okay then. What about, hey, what about this for Netflix? Amy Winehouse fucked with my tarot. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> that'd be too fun, I think. It's that wire again. Where did the blood on the wire come from? Oh, when I was making my window box the other day, uh, I cut my finger on the wire and there was blood and it's seeping everywhere. I'm always doing that, aren't I? But I know it's like before when I was around my friends, so I put my finger in my pocket and then stabbed it on a nail, which never normally happens. It's like somebody was wishing ill on me. You know, I just suddenly got a pin stuck in my finger. I said to him, somebody's just done that. But he's the sort of person who knows because he does that sort of thing to other people. I was there before and the dog kicked off. I said, did you do that? He goes, well, you know what? I hate that other dog, yes. But, um... There we go. Blood on the wire, though. That was the message. There's blood on the wire. Who's blood? Um, I don't know. There's always blood, isn't there? This is you don't leave metal on the floor. You can't help it sometimes. I'm always doing it. Oh, fuck. I left metal on the floor again, babe. <laughs> Once you're in tune with the universe, everything's a message. It's true. That's why you have to, you know, flow. Flow. They were saying about staging my um, thing yesterday. Do I think about the film, weren't you? Weren't you? And have I ever been on a film set? Why is that a strange question? You know why? Have I willingly been on a film set? Well, what? That's another, you know. What's it called? A, you know, not intellectual, the other word. Existential question. Uh, not a large one. Well, you know. <laughs> Everyone films with phones all the time, so, you know, the whole planet is one massive film set. And that's that was CCTV, etc. So, dumbass. Yes, it makes life more fun though, doesn't it? You're always on, you're always on set. But the candid aspect of, what's it called? I know, that's the interesting part, isn't it? Candid. Candid shots. And I said when I started, when I started my YouTube, the best bit was of the bits that everyone liked of, um, you know, like The Voice and all that shit, which I never really watched because you know why. I was usually heading off to work and it's like, oh my God, Jesus, no, not this bullshit. Can we watch something, you know? <laughs> Can we watch David Attenborough? No, we we're watching this again, but the outtakes, is the in what are they called? The auditions, you know, the fucking, that's the best bit. So this is kind of what I wanted my YouTube to be. It's funny. Uh, I think so, anyway. But, um, it's, you know, taken on its own life. And that's part of the art. I don't stage things because, well, no more than normal. It's just a candid... So, occasionally I do stage things, though, don't I? I can only do that, um... Uh... Which tangle? I thought about a costume. <laughs> and, you know, what I was going to need. A lot of the time it's just, sometimes it's literally just streaming. Well, it is always streaming consciousness. Sometimes I occasionally go a sort of buffed idea of a script 
that I've worked out and I'm walking the dog or something. I don't know. I don't know. It just ended up being more dribbling. You know. More dribbling artists. I don't know. Just a diary. A journal. I don't know what. A combination. What's it called when you do that? I've become this character of me. Who is she though? I don't know. <laughs> Here's the squirrel. He's come. Who's the squirrel? I think it was Elon Musk the other day. No, because you know why? He loves stuffing those nuts in his cheeks. <laughs> It was, literally the other day, it was him. Why has he come? You know why? He wants to sniff around everything. Mark has. Because they're those sort of bum brothers, it's true. I hate you, I hate you too. We're equal, but we, you know what? We need the competition. And I'm a little fat squirrel. What are you? You're a screaming rat. I know, you two boys, seriously? Who do you like best of the two? I hate them both. You know why? That's the fun of it. I don't know. I hate them both equally. I hate everyone though, and I'm quite honest and open about that. It's true. We hate people, don't we? Slow walking Pete of mine. Uncle Martin from the waterfront. You've probably known him, Pete, probably quite well. And you know what? <laughs> 